Well, good morning <laughs> for a lot of you right now. That might be kind of a frustrating morning because now your whole schedule has gone chaos. And how did it go all chaos? Because your children are now home for the summer. Ah! <laughs> there's, a, there's a book I absolutely love. It's called Who Moved My Cheese? And this book is amazing because it fits so perfectly right now. And this whole concept is, is that, you know, we, in life we, we kind of have these mazes that we have to get around. And on some of the areas, we, we try to go down it and we hit kind of dead ends. Well, we finally find our cheese. Well, if you're a mouse and you figure out how to get to cheese, you go the same way every time. Every time you go the same way, it's like, okay, great. So I wake up in the morning, I do this. I go to, on Tuesdays, I do this. On Wednesdays, I do this. And we get used to the same routine. Well, that's what's happened for the now the last nine months or eight months, whatever, however long school is, that's what's happened is we've gotten used to our regular routines. I've gotten used to when I wake up in the morning, this is what I do, and I wake up at this time, and you know, all these things. We get set in these routines that help us to just start the day or to do and perform the best way we can. Well, then all of a sudden, we go to this to pick up this cheese or in a sense we go to do our routine and we can't it's gone somebody's moved it well in this case no way physically moved it it's just that now school's out and so what you used to do every morning now has shifted because instead of being free at seven o'clock or six o'clock or whenever your kids went go to school Instead of being free, you have this whole new maze that is now set up because your children have, are home from school. And so it's not what you're used to. And so you go through this process of trying to find your cheese. You try and find, okay, oops, it, it's definitely not that way. So you go and you, you look for another path. You're like, ah. And you're trying to figure out what's going to work during the summer. This process is a lot of doing. It, it takes some time. But if you just take it easy, you will figure it out. And just like you did before, You'll discover your cheese. You'll discover what's going to work for the summer. You'll discover what's going to work every day of the week. How you're going to start your morning. Now, you, you can start your morning with your children jumping in bed with you and saying, Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Dad. I love you so much. I mean, it's just different. Don't fear the difference. Don't fear the concept of your cheese being moved. It's just different. Embrace it. This is new opportunities, new exciting opportunities to grow closer to your family, to grow closer to your children. Th these are just new exciting opportunities. These opportunities are constantly happening because then soon school start back up and you, you might be familiar with your cheese back over here, but it might not necessarily work like you thought it would. And so you, a whole new maze of challenges and you know maybe your children start going to school earlier or they go to school later or they they get off at, on Mondays or you know whatever the the scenario may be your cheese will constantly get moved you will be moving around on different challenges op opportunities throughout your life just learn to embrace that 
journey to discover the cheese, to discover that new life, that new opportunity, that new exciting path. As you do that, you're going to find so much joy in the whole journey, the the joy in the process, the joy in the discovery, because you're going to realize that throughout life, I mean, throughout this whole process, is there's cheese all over that you haven't even realized exists yet because you're so used to doing the same thing over and over again. Well, as things get interrupted, that's when we start breaking new barriers and we start discovering, oh, wow, there's some cheese over here, there's some cheese over here, and we, and we can just start seeing that there are new kinds of cheese. <laughs> there's, sticking with the, the analogy here, there's new kinds of cheese. There's provolone, there's pepper jack, there's cheddar, there's mozzarella, there's all these different kind of cheese. Feta, yeah. and you're going to go to some and you're like, ah, that was yucky. I don't want to eat that again. And then they'll go to some and it's like, oh, I really like that. And so you want to keep going back and doing that again and again and again. Well, this whole concept is the concept of life. You'll have cheese that you taste that you thought was going to work and it just ends up tasting bad. You just go there and you think this going to be the great opportunity. The grass is green. This is awesome. And you go there and you do that thing or you implement that behavior or whatever. And you realize... This just isn't for me. I did not like that. I did not like that cheese. That new path was awful. But then you realize, okay, I don't like blue cheese. Ah, blue cheese is gross. Ooh, but I love pepper jack. I love pepper jack. Maybe we can put some more energy into that area and build up our surplus of pepper jack. So wherever your cheese is at, whatever kind of cheese it is you like, don't fear it. Because there's all kinds of different kinds of cheese out there that you haven't even tasted yet that will open up new opportunities, new exciting journeys. And the more you do that, the more you become the person you really can be. And the more you realize that there's so much more of you to give to the world. So much more of you to give to your family, to your husband, to your wife. There is so much more for you to give. You are amazing. Believe it. You have a fantastic day.